back to my channel. So as you can see for today's video, we will be doing a fashion haul. Um, there's a few makeup bits here that I will share with you as well. Um, so I wouldn't call this my summer haul or summer fashion haul since the fashion or since the clothes that I purchased pretty much items that I would wear all year long. I would try to figure out how to layer them for the fall and winter and how I can wear them by itself during spring and summer. Um, I will include a try on video as well so you can see how it looks on me and I will also show you or let you know how I style it by itself and how I would style it for the fall and winter. Yeah, so this might be a bit long of a video, so go grab your tea, coffee, or whatever drink you have, and a snack, and enjoy. <laughs> so why don't we start with Toby.com? Um, I'm actually wearing one of their clothes right now. This is their Cassidy mesh shift dress. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's like a mesh see-through type, and it has a spaghetti strap mini dress underneath so I like it this um, this looks more like a t-shirt dress to me it has that t-shirt dress style as you can see on the try on video um, so by itself I would wear this with my high tops my black high tops or whatever sneakers you have for a casual weekend date I guess and for the fall or winter I would add leggings and pair it with booties and either a denim jacket or a leather jacket it's an easy black shift dress that I can pretty much wear anytime anywhere at any event I can dress it down or dress it up so for the next item at toby.com is this off-the-shoulder blue and white stripe top with straps so it's not just off the shoulder, which I kind of don't like, like just like this. I don't know. I I feel like it might just fall off of me one day when I'm wearing it. So I want to have security and I always get for the ones with the straps. <laughs> so with this one, you can see in the try on video that it is a very big top on me I got a medium so I think I can get a I could have gotten away with small and for the spring and summer I would pair this with a pair of denim shorts or denim white jeans if it's a bit chilly outside um, I don't know if I would wear this for the fall and winter since it has that kind of like linen fabric to it so I think this is kind of like a seasonal item I don't know I have been into stripes lately and I'm really liking this vertical stripe so it helps to make you look skinny I hope third item from toby.com which and the last item from toby.com is this floral blue floral <laughs> this blue floral mini dress I call it mini because they're all and they all end above my knee so I'm just gonna call them all mini I think they're all too short for me or right, let me insert the try on video here and has a sexy back I would call it that yes that's what I call it um, it is a very flowy dress and see-through because I think this is like um, a mix of cotton and other fabric in it let me see so it's polyester and rayon. So the way I would wear this for the summer, for the spring and summer, is with a pair of denim shorts. So it is, it is a bit see-through. Or I guess you can use it as a cover-up for your bikini. And I think this will dry pretty fast at the beach once you wear it. So for the fall and winter, I would probably wear this with leggings and long sleeves underneath. I still have to try it on. I don't usually wear floral print for the fall and winter, but I would still wear this since if I just wanna something easy to wear, something comfortable to wear, I would just layer it with long sleeves underneath and leggings and some sneakers or sandals or booties, whatever you feel like wearing. 
So those three are from Toby.com. Oh, moving on to Nordstrom, which is right here. Um, I didn't expect to be coming home with a big bag, but my goal at Nordstrom was to find me a pair of jeans. I wanted to find a brand that I would stick to forever since I don't really have a favorite brand of jeans right now. Finally found a brand that I really like. I love the fit on me and I think I will go back and get some more from this brand if I ever end up at Nordstrom again. And it's from New, no not New, NYDJ Los Angeles. Um, I think my sister said it's not your daughter's jeans brand and this is their Alina convertible ankle jeans I don't know how to show you how to show you jeans on camera but this is your so this is just the dark blue color jeans and I also got a pair of white jeans the same from the same collection, Alina Convertible Ankles. It's, I think it's more of a straight leg type of jeans that I can fold and wear as a crop pants. And it has that really soft fabric to it. Very stretchy still, so I can still eat and expand inside this. Okay, I was so happy it was on sale as well. I would have gotten more but the other colors of the jeans weren't my style so yeah I really like these these are super comfy I definitely definitely very excited to wear this um, yeah so that's that's the jeans besides the jeans I couldn't let go of a few tops that I tried on and they were all on sale as well so why not, right? I really like all of these items. This would be items that I would wear a lot. Again, all year long. I'm gonna figure out, I will try to figure out how to wear this all year long as well. So, first top that I got, well, not this one. <laughs> Let's do that thing. First top that I got is this crop top t-shirt that says, Staycation. <laughs> I was looking for some crop tops to pair I forgot some high-waisted skirt I have so I wanted something very casual to pair it with so this shirt is perfect for that and it is this blue and beige striped crop top it is a very comfy t-shirt and the shirt size is double extra small double X S do you see the size of this? How can I not buy this when this says I'm a double XS? Um, I'm not really double XS, but this is actually still loose too, so I really like it. Thank you for thinking I am double XS, Madwell. I am usually a medium. Well, I choose medium size clothes because I like them loose. Like this is medium. I don't like them super tight on me so but next top is this tank top from halogen yeah from halogen so it, it looks like a regular tank top here on top and then the bottom has this pleating on it which is so cute I can easily wear this with a pair of jeans or shorts since it's longer than your usual t-shirt so I really like it and it has that really soft cotton fabric to it so it's easy to wear so I got another black top but this one is more like a eyelet style of top <laughs> anywho you can see through it so you need to wear something underneath and it has a three-quarter sleeve with like flare at the end like a flaring style at the end I don't know how do you call this <laughs> like a bell sleeve so I tried to pick tops that I can easily move around in since during events or during New York Fashion Week I am everywhere I have to rush from one event or 
from one location to the next location and carrying a lot of bags with me my camera bag my purse some other stuff my water bottle and all that jazz so I needed tops that still look stylish but very very comfy and very movable to be in <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but I like comfy clothes I like loose clothes and I like clothes that I can easily move around in so that's my thing when I look for tops or stylish tops so the last item from Nordstrom is this button-down long sleeve shirt this is pretty long too like you can see it has like it's really long and it has a cold shoulder style to it as you can see that's like a cutout right here um, the stripes got me and it's vertical like what my hubby said like what Mike said it has to be vertical so it would make you look skinnier but I just like the stripes in this one and the sleeve which you know makes it a bit more stylish than your typical button-down shirts so as you can see in the try-on video so the way I would style this so I can wear it for spring is I'd fold the sleeves up to a quarter and tuck in one side of the shirt so and pair it with a pair of jeans or actually like a leggings because it's long enough to cover my bum I would actually wear that with sneakers kind of keep it casual or dress it up and add some necklaces to it or bracelets and yeah a pair of booties so these are pretty much really easy to style easy to wear all year long so that is all the fashion items that I got now we also went to the beauty department at Nordstrom and got some Chanel makeup actually all of the beauty products that I'm gonna show you were a gift from my mom um, she told me to go shop so I went shopping so she asked what I wanted for my birthday and I said I think I want to try some more Chanel makeup um, the story with that is I took one of her Chanel color correcting concealer because it was too dark on her skin and it was perfect for my skin and I tried it on and I told them how I love the concealer it matches me really well so I got the same one I'll show you later and I really like the formula of it it was so light on the skin but it covers really well it covered the redness on my cheeks and made my skin pretty even I don't even have to wear foundation with it but I also bought a foundation from Chanel to see and to try how it is so that's the story why I bought more Chanel makeup if that concealer was that good I wondered how their other products are so here is the concealer this is their long-lasting correcting concealer and I got the color in beige so it comes in this box comes in this little tiny box I think they only have one concealer in their beauty line or beauty collection so this is pretty much it that I use on my cheeks and my forehead some on my forehead um, I really like it I'll probably be wearing this all summer long since it's so lightweight I don't need to wear foundation when I wear this so <laughs> next is a Chanel foundation okay I have a lot of foundation I didn't need another foundation but if that concealer was that good imagine their foundation right so I had to buy a foundation um there were a few different collections of Chanel foundations so I tried them all and I really like the finish of the Le Beige collection and this one is the Le Beige Healthy Glow foundation so the bottle looks like this um, she said it's a pump so I'm in the shade um shade <laughs> I don't know what is my shade Gosh, I don't know how to read these boxes. 
50? Is that my shade number? I can't remember. I mean, the lady helped me pick out my shade, so I wasn't sure how to look for the shade number in the bottle either. And the price range on this is almost the same as YSL. Like I said, YSL, Bobbi Brown, Dior at Sephora. So it's actually not that bad. If you're gonna go get a high-end makeup, you can include this if your budget is around the YSL price range at Sephora. Try um, then you can also check out Chanel at the department store. I haven't tried this bottle yet. I haven't really used this bottle yet, but when we swatched the different foundations on my skin, this one had the light to medium coverage and had that nice glowy finish on my skin like some of them had a matte finish to it which i didn't like since that's gonna accentuate all my dry skin or dry skin patches in my face so i went with the le beige collection the last item i picked up from chanel is a lip product this one is the rouge allure ink matte liquid lip color this is in the shade mm, in the shade 154 I think this is in the shade 154 so here's how it looks like this is their matte liquid lipstick in the shade 154 yeah Ex experimente so this is their dark berry I haven't see I haven't opened it I haven't even tried this this is the dark berry shade from the collection like the rest of the matte liquid lipsticks were really bright and peachy and corally type of finish and this one was the only dark shade they have and this is a color that I would wear if you can see it's a nice really dark red shade yeah. so that's the last of the Chanel that I got. So besides the Chanel makeup that she got me, she told me to go buy some stuff also at Ulta or Sephora. Um, I skipped Sephora since I just purchased some stuff during the 15% off VIB sale. But I got a few stuff at Ulta and since I wanted to try some stuff from there. First, our sunscreen from Sunbum right here um, I needed some sunscreen for the summer this one my sister said is great for the face since this is waterproof and sweat proof it has aloe rubs in clear so as you can see I have it on actually underneath my makeup it doesn't have that white cast to it um, PABA free, alcohol free, and has vitamin E as well. Next is a primer from Smashbox. This is the green, the color correcting photo finish foundation primer in green. I wanted to try if this will help kind of color correct the redness on my cheeks and on my nose. And so far, it's been pretty pretty good I don't know I use a little bit so let me know if you've tried this um, green color correcting primer but I like the finish of it it's really light it hasn't really broken me out so we'll see I'm still I'm still testing this last two so I got another concealer and this one is from NARS one of their Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium to Ginger. I have been using Medium 1 Custard under my eyes and just to highlight around my face. And I really like the finish of these concealers. So I got one that is close to my skin tone so I can use it like my Chanel concealer, I guess, for every day and this one just for special occasions and lastly from Ulta is a lip product and this is from Urban Decay from their Vice liquid lipstick collection and this one is in the shade Amulet 
Um, they had a few different finishes of their liquid lipsticks, and this one has a comfort matte finish. I thought it was a metallic finish since it looked metallic on the, like see, it looked metallic to me. Um, and it's not a really flat, yeah, it's not, I guess it's not fully matte finish. It's, and I tried this on at Sephora the other day. I really like the finish of it. It's so comfortable on the lips. The shade is something I would wear every day as well. It is this deep brown pinky shade. It's right here. It is a type of color that I would wear all year long as well. And I really like this one as like a... I guess you would call it as my dark version of a nude lipstick. Does that make sense? If you haven't tried any Vice liquid lipsticks, try it on at Sephora. Wear it, eat, drink, test it out before you buy one. But I've tried, I have one of their, I have one of this before in a different shade and I really like it. It is long lasting, like really long lasting. Yeah, so that is it for my shopping haul. <laughs> that's all of it. All of it. I think that's all of it. I hope you enjoyed those little fun facts and style tips that I included. I just didn't want this to be like a show and tell type of video. So, and also all the links for the items that I showed you today, excuse me. So all the links of, the, of all the items that I showed you today, I will try to look for them online and I will put all the links in the description box below. So if you want to feel like shopping now after seeing all that, don't you? Like I usually end up shopping after watching hauls on YouTube. Make me jealous. I hope you guys enjoy that. I will see you all on my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.